Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 Hasu League. Semi-final, upper left-hand corner, we got Zazdu starting as the red Zerg. Bottom right-hand corner, we got Range starting as the blue Protoss. We're going to go to black screen for a second because I'm realizing I did not update the score. Zazu's got a win. There we go. This is a, I believe this is best of five overall. This is Neo Dark Origin, a two-player map. Ranged having trouble in game one. It looked like he was in... It looked like he had created enough havoc for Zazu... Excuse me, for Zazu, that he was going to be able to walk comfortably into a macro victory. But Zazu, busting out the old Hydralisk Lurker drop, Manzerg, and able to pull out a victory, which honestly seemed like desperation mode, because he was sitting at a very, very low... That was very all-in-ish. Uh, and I need to emphasize that at that lower worker count, if he had not busted range, range certainly would have eventually outproduced him and been able to take the win. So a close one to start, although range taking that massive economic risk himself with the 12 Nexus. I presume he's not going to do it this time. Looks like he's waiting for a gateway opener. Overlord should see that probe scout as it's making its way across. I'm actually curious about the timing of the Overlord on the front versus the basically the positioning where and if it can see that initial zealot and get proper timings off of it on this map i should try to pay more attention to that we have an overpool again from zazu we'll see if he goes for that three hatch before gas once again the probe walking in one problem with the probe on this map is, is they do sometimes get an automatic exit point through the north and they can also sometimes with forge openers until you know that it's not a forge opener you can be a little bit worried as far as what the aggression might be. Right now, range recognizing that it is in fact overpool and doing a good job of blockade. So a second drone pulled off the line, so that's a bit of an economic hit. Is he gonna be able to get, no, nice blockade there by that second drone to allow that hatchery to plant. What is, what is happening here with this, I wonder? Is it roots? Are Zerg partly plant? That would make sense to a degree, wouldn't it? Carnivorous plants. New meta. Four Zerglings making the way out. Two... Are they going to work on the probe? Looks like they're going to sit their way back. The Zealot that was initially making way cross field is now going to pull back. Ranged. Let's see if he walks up and drops a forge out on the front. The Zealot's currently blockading. It looks like he does want to go Nexus. I think he spotted all of those probes too. So this could get really dicey. Or sorry, he's he spotted all the Zerglings too. This could get really, really dicey. So let's see the timing of this. And I think the Zerglings are going to be able to sneak by. Yeah, so Zerglings are there. I presume they're going to go for a run by, so now it's a race to the ramp. But even if they sit back, they can create a lot of havoc here. And range losing yet another worker. It looks like he dropped a, an additional pylon in the main rather than a forge at the natural. Interestingly enough, Zazu going to go ahead and back out. So he's got that natural up, and he's going to go ahead and drop that third immediately as that second hatchery is completed. Did manage to get his extractor up beforehand, though. But before he saturated that natural expansion, he's sitting at a very light 10 worker count right this second. And just now starting to filter that in. The Zerglings, in the meantime, pocketing themselves to the north. Still an open front here from ranged. Grabbing the assimilator before forge. So ranged doing some interesting... Adjustments on his build as well. And a cybernetic score now at the natural. The forge actually dropped in the main. To guarantee plus one weapons completes. This is a little bit dangerous in... The advantage of this is it's a little bit more secure against 973. As if the cybernetics... Uh, as you get that plus one weapons complete, usually you're, you have your Citadel of the Dune up as well. And if Hydralisks are trying to bust the front at that stage, you know you're not having to deal with a Lurker all in at that stage as well. So it's less concerns about the robotics as far as timing of all of that goes, but could be a factor down the line. We will see. Looks like we do have Zergling speed before lair overall. We have a Hydralis den getting dropped as well. So this potentially could be a 973, although we'll try to keep an eye on the drone counts as they're produced. The Zealots now march it, so clearing initial Zerglings, six Zerglings that were pocketed, going to push through. Is the probe going to be there to blockade? The probes are going to be just in the nick of time. 
to block. I'm not sure what Teed ranged off to pull that back. Maybe the Overlord moving forward, but brilliant play right there. Stargate about halfway finished, and the Zealots now going to be able to go up against a smaller Zergling count into the natural expansion. They're also going to sp spot that Hydralis then as it's producing. And it looks like range going to go ahead trying to use the ramp to his advantage to create concavity both directions, kind of Caesar style. That's a... First of all, I thought of Rome, so I guess I lose the game. But secondarily, <laughs> that's quite a historical reference, if people know what I'm talking about there. It's a, it's a fun one, look it up. But anyway, Zealots trying to make their way to main. This is forcing a lot of Zerglings to be built and constructed, so I feel like range is actually getting really decent value out of this. First Corsair on the way. He's also spotting the drone saturation, which lets him know for sure that this is likely Hydro's play. A layer, though, being morphed at the third. Yeah, this is the new game. Is It's it's not like the, the finger thing or thinking about the game. It's when did you last think about the Roman Empire for men, I guess, and when did you last think about astrology for women? Huge amounts of Zerglings now swarming towards the front with Hydralisk support. The Corsair working on the Overlord at the nearby location. We have just a Photon Cannon getting tacked down by range. And I'm a little bit concerned that Zazu, despite, well, he's in the red, <coughs> which is going to kneecap this assault a bit, but it looks like he still has a decent sized attack force to engage this natural. That second cannon not up, and usually you want a slew of cannons here to help defend. Being in the red means reinforcements are going to be somewhat slow. It looks like the Corsair working against additional overlords to maintain that supply cap. That is giving time for range to go ahead and get additional photon cannons up. The other advantage of this versus the 973 is with that forge in the main, Despite losing the cybernetic score, you don't have to worry about your forge getting taken out, so you can continue with the latent defenses. That second overlord has been wiped out, keeping Zazu in the red, which means this going in as an all-in bust will be halted, and ranged is going to be able to get sufficient cannons. Should be able to scout as well. Now does Zazu fold back and go for more economic play? It looks like he's going to do more of the same from game one. But this could really catch ranged off guard because he's so he's going for a lurker upgrade again wants to play manzerg style but i don't know that he spotted the lair so, and the corsair has been taken out instead we have a gateway flood behind this the cybernetic now that cybernetic core is going to hurt him because he's presuming he can skip it for the time being and we'll see if that in fact ends up being the case single zergling left there from zazu to scout things out but I presume we're going to see that Overlord speed <coughs> with a continuation of drop as well. And the cybernetic score is just now getting rebuilt. Lurker tech is now finished, which means Zazu just needs to morph maybe a Lurker or two here across this bridge line and he will be secure. The Zealots fanning out. I'm wondering if they want to try to make a shot at the... I should have shown this at the beginning of the match because it could end up being a factor, but I'm wondering if they want to try to go for that stasis prison to the north and go for a rear-end assault. Potentially not. Overlord Speed's been spotted now from ranged. That at least lets them know the lair's up. Let's see if that triggers as far as information. Again, Zazu playing at a very small worker count right this second. And we do see a zealot making its way yeah, towards that 12 o'clock. Looks like he's just trying to examine whether there's a base out in position or not. One problem for Zerg at this stage is it's difficult to stop a Protoss from grabbing a third, but also it can be difficult to grab a fourth because it starts getting extended away from basically it's closer to your opponent than it is to your base. Zelt's getting wiped out, so they're just serving as something like a Corsair scout right this second. Overlord's fanned out across the front, providing vision for Zazu. Healthy worker count for ranged. But keep in mind there's lurkers that are now morphing, which could easily turn into a front door cap right here before that third comes online and before bridges are really a factor. Suicide Overlord to check the state. Interesting Suicide Overlord because it actually put Zazu in the red on top of everything else. Templar Archives getting dropped. No robotics facility as of yet. More Overlords fanning out, just making sure that it's still two base. And there's still an opportunity to seal things in. So Zazu, again, still sitting at the lower worker count. So yeah, he needs to either seal 
or really make something happen with the latent hydralisks and lurkers that he's got here. If he just goes for a seal, he could drop multiple bases and swing things around. That singles out those pocketed upright in corner able to sneak in to the natural. The drones now trying to defend themselves. Looks like it's just overlords being built out of that larva, so that's a little bit of economic damage here. But right now, range has been boxed out of that third, so he's going to have to sit on two bases. And Zazu actually well down on supply in comparison to range, although about 30 of that, his army is actually about even. If you count, if you do the drone math, or the probe math in this instance, probe math, it's a special kind of math that involves workers and the proletariat and revolution and things like that. We don't talk about it a lot. Because if the workers revolted in Brood War, the wars would end, there would be peace across the galaxy, and I wouldn't be able to commentate anything. So what fun would that be? The Zelts sneaking out, running into that lurker line, immediately being sent back. The Dragoons are going to have to lead. This is kind of a nice configuration of cannons, where Range isn't going to have to worry about reconfiguring his front door to get forward purchase. But he's... If he, so now what it comes down to is if Range gets starved out over the next six minutes, if he can't get to this third and expand, he will win. Zazu's just now adding on some additional drones. He's been sitting at a very, very low. Usually you want to be like surging to the to the 50 count at this stage and on two more, an, another hatchery at least. But it's just been three hatchery play this entire time and a massive dedication to the seal. Looks like also we've got some Dark Templar that have been able to sneak out. Let's see if Zazu will anticipate that and be able to cope with that. And I wouldn't be shocked if this turns into a two-pronged attack, a single Zergling. Let's switch to Zazu's vision here. So I don't think the Zergling is going to see that shuttle. Range just has a really strong sense of where to cycle these troops. It looks like that shuttle has in fact been spotted. The Dark Templar are dropped off. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to get a lot accomplished. In fact, they're taking some free damage along that backhand edge. They still might be able to get some drone kills, though, because there's not an Overlord in the main. Ranged simultaneously. So we'll try to keep an eye on both fronts here. So a lot of damage happening here. That might not... Did it get spotted? No, it's not. So it looks like Zazu doesn't realize that his main's getting obliterated. It's too distracted on the front. So ranged. Getting a lot done here. And that's 21 workers remaining. And finally, the alert goes off as that hatchery's being assaulted. Pretty good spread, though, already on the natural from Zazu, but he's way behind in the worker count. The upgrades again because of that forge in the main has worked out well. There's still no fourth hatchery. The main is actually gone. So these Dark Templar are now, they get monuments at this stage. <coughs> it is just a lurker minefield that needs to be cleared from Zazu or from ranged. And honestly, as soon as he clears these lurkers, there's not a lot that's keeping Zazu alive. Observer picked off. Brilliant pick off. That'll delay things quite a bit. Not the best discipline as far as Observer positioning right there from range. So it's small mercies for Zazu now. He's having to redrop that hatchery. Could have been worse. Could have been the lair. Also, critically, that denies that gas. You can see that third gas running, but it's only a single gas working right now, which delays upgrades and a lot of other things. So range's army continues to get stronger. And Zazu running out of more and more options, although still no observer. Okay, there's the observer starting to peek out towards the front. I almost wonder if the APL vision range would have been better here. Range not doing the best engagement, taking a big battering, doing a much better job of protecting the observer this time. Bit of an empty size storm. The observer remains alive and without the and still having trouble battering. That actually took a huge loss as far as worker differential there is remacroing and having trouble controlling that army. He's having a massive amount of trouble breaking that lurker line. We got four zealots storming. It looks like they want to go for an assault on this lair. This is the only thing keeping Zazu in the game right this second. The zealots have marched in, working on drones. It looks like they're going to completely retreat. And this is now the lair that is at risk if those zealots want to turn around and go for a straight assault. And they might be able to wipe that out. Simultaneous press in attack. Good side storms this time from ranged. The observer is well protected. Now that those hydralisks have been expended, that lurker line is going to be much, much more vulnerable to the dragoons, and that's going to open up the third Zazu supply. Pathetic. There he's going to call GG. Great play from range this time. Top to bottom, he's going to take a match. 
Comment from chat. Pretty sure Terrans use prisoners for every non-vehicle. I think that is probably the case, yeah. But we don't talk about that. We just enjoy the we just enjoy the commentary. We're gonna put that in the back of our brain. Shh. Open secret. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.